Pinto, how did you sneak aboard? Aha! A stowaway! Wait, dead ahead. There they are. Whoa! Is that the double orc? Octonauts, here's the plan. Quasi, you go around the back and I'll... Quasi! You can't hold me here, you scurvy beast! So much for the plan. Activate helmets. Oh, oh, can I go too? No. Uh, Quasi, we may not be dealing with a Dabalock after all. Uh, of course not. I know Dabalocks, Captain. This is no Dabalock. Hmm. It looks like a plant to me. It is a plant. A type of seaweed called kelp. We're at the edge of a kelp forest. Dashie and Shellington are trapped in the kelp. We've got to get them out. We'll have to use the tow line to pull them out. Peso, check on Shellington. Quasi, let's get the tow line. Huh? <gasps> this kelp is strong. We'll have to pull really hard. No. Wait, the guppy isn't the only thing stuck in there. Look. We have to be careful. If we pull too hard, it could hurt those baby snails. You're right, but we have to free the gup right now. Hmm. It's, it's like a bandage. They're just wrapped up in a giant bandage. Hmm. Do you think you could unwrap it? Yes, sir! That's a lot of unwrapping to do, Captain. And we do have a spare helmet. Pinto? Aye, aye, Captain! Remember, this is a real mission. I'll follow your orders, just like a real Optonaut. Optonauts, take your positions. If you don't mind. Captain, peel from the top. Aye, aye, Peso. Quasi, take it under. Aye, aye, Peso. Pinto, open that leaf. Aye, aye, Peso. Nobody's ever seen before? Ah, uh, no. I didn't find anything new to put on my empty pages. I wish we'd found something big and scary, like a giant fishopotamus. Well, we did find this interesting rock with holes in it. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> I think there's something alive in here. together faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots okay but hurry i'm freezing and this light hurts my eyes you live in the midnight zone where it's always dark and the hydrothermal vents are very hot the octopod must seem very strange to you oh i want to go home tweak will fix your house and then we'll take you home to the midnight zone as fast as we can in the meantime We'll do our best to make you more comfortable. How's that? Warm enough? Dark enough? Better. For now. Thanks. First, we have to work out how the tunnels connect to each other. Give this a try. Wrong. Okay, let me try again. Wrong. Hold on. Yeah. 
That ought to do it. Wrong, wrong, wrong. The holes don't line up. I keep bumping my head. Don't worry. We won't give up until we've worked it out. <sighs> you know, we've been looking at this problem from the outside. But we need to take a look from the inside. I bet Dashie can help us. With this tiny video camera, we'll be able to see your tunnels from the inside. I call it the worm cam. Ready? Ready! Dead end. The holes are still not lining up. Another dead end. Just a little dark down here. Nothing to be afraid of. There's something huge up ahead. Oh, sorry. It's just some big rocks. I think I found him. Show yourself. Ow! Ah, it was just a manta ray. Oh. Hey? Octonaut, I may have found the giant squid. Oh. Activating creature detector. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, it was just an eel. Octonauts, continue the search. Oh. Ah, these fish biscuits smell wonderful. Perhaps a little snack will cheer me up while I wait. Cousin Irving! Inkling! Hmm, something smells good. Would you like some fish biscuits? Coming right up! Hmm. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! Huh? Cousin Inkling? Cousin Irving. Are you all right? I've been so worried about you. Oh, I'm just hungry. I've been looking for food all day. Ah, so that's why you grabbed the gup, eh? You thought it might be food. Um, do you have any more of those delicious fish biscuits? Captain, another basket of those excellent biscuits, please. Cousin Irving is very hungry. So, how did you find each other? Oh, I smelled those fish biscuits. A giant squid has an excellent sense of smell. Here, have another basketful. Rather. <laughs> Nothing tastes better than a carrot fresh out of the garden, Tunip. I'll get this one for you, me hearty. These vines are perfect for swinging. You should try it, Tweak. No thanks, Quasi. I'm happy just pulling up carrots. <sighs> That's not very exciting. There's got to be some action around here somewhere. <laughs> <sighs> Captain, I think I'm going to take the gut bee out for a spin because uh, because I need to... Um... Let me guess. 
Practice your driving skills. Ah, oh, that's it. Uh, practice my driving skills. <laughs> nice to take the gut bee out for a little excitement. <laughs> Looks like you brought back a friend. A friend? <gasps> a baby dolphin? Huh. He must have followed you inside, Quasi. Oh, he's just a baby. Poor little matey. He needs his mother. And we're going to find her. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to get this baby dolphin back to his mother. I wonder how he lost his mummy. I was driving the gut B near some dolphins. He must have started following me instead of his mother for some reason. He must have got caught in your slipstream, Quasi. What's a slipstream? Dolphin mothers swim so fast that they make a path in the water behind them called a slipstream. The slipstream pulls the dolphin baby along and helps it keep up with its mother. But this baby dolphin must have got carried away in the guppy slipstream. Yeah, I'm sorry, little matey. It... <laughs> Captain Quasi. <gasps> Captain, behind you. It's the <laughs> whale shark. You never got to leap around like spaghetti, did you? No, I got sucked in like a wet noodle. Dashy! Dashy! Let's look for her by going that way along the tongue. Charge! <laughs> oh! Her tongue is kind of ticklish. We better step lightly. Tiptoe. This looks like where we came in. So let's go back the other way. Slide. <laughs> These things keep you from falling onto your bum, eh, Captain? They're gills. The whale shark uses them to let water back out while keeping food in. You think Dashy could have gone out through the gills? Nope. She's too big. This wall feels all spongy-like. The sponge wall is another way the whale shark can let water out while keeping big stuff in. Looks like it kept Dashy's hair clipping. But Dashy must have squeezed her way through. She's on the other side. There's no time to lose. Let's suck in our bellies <gasps> and squeeze. <laughs> Quasi, Captain, can anybody hear me? <laughs> I guess not. <gasps> Don't roar at me. That's not a roar. That's a moan. You must be sick. When a sea creature's sick, I'm there. Even if he is as big as a school bus. Everything looks fine in the ear. Nose looks good too. Now I'll check your tummy. Oh. His tummy hurts. Poor whale shark. My friends must be in there. That must not feel too good. You usually only eat small things. I've worked out your problem, whale shark. You don't have measles or chicken pox. You have octonauts. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 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 
<sighs> we seem to have landed somewhere. Is that you making that clicking sound? I thought it was you making the clicking sound. We're going to remove the shell for you. We'll just cut it open and... Stop! Please, stop! Oh, hello. Stop? Why? Listen, I'm almost too big for the shell I'm in. I need a new one, and that shell is just right, just right! It may be too small for him, but it's a perfect size for me. He's not the only hermit crab around here, you know. <laughs> oh, well, let's get on with it. If you cut that shell in half, it'll be ruined, ruined! I'll never find another one like it, and believe me, I've looked. If you don't mind my asking, why do you keep changing shells anyway? Oh, because hermit crabs can't grow their own shells, so we borrow the shells of other animals for protection. We move into one shell. Grow up, get bigger. And then move to a bigger shell. So what can we do, Tweak? Maybe I could just cut off the shell and then try to glue it back together. That's too risky. I think we need a new plan. Captain, we have one hermit crab who needs to get out of his shell and another who wants to get in. We have to safely remove the crab from its shell. There's only one thing to do, Peso. We have to perform a crabectomy. Captain, I've never performed a crabectomy before. Even when I was in medical school. Just watch out for those pinchy claws. I'll talk you through the whole operation. I had to perform an emergency crabectomy once in my polar bear cub days. Righto. And I promise we won't damage that shell. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Step one, steady the shell. Step two, fasten the hose. Step three, prepare landing pad. Ready, Tweak? I really hope this works. Me too. <clears throat> Captain, we're ready for the crabectomy. All right, Peso. This should take five big pumps of air to push him out. You'll have to really put some muscle into it. Flippers in place, Captain. All right. On my count. Five. <laughs> Four. <laughs> three. <laughs> oh, two. <laughs> one. <laughs> You better hurry up. Your friend is moving fast. Yeah, Sandy's a leatherback sea turtle. Leatherback sea turtles are fast swimmers, that's for sure. Visitor arriving in five, four, three, two, one. I'll open the octo hatch, Tweak. Sandy! Tweak! <laughs> hey! Octonauts, this is my good friend Sandy. Welcome aboard the Octopod. I'm in a bit of a hurry, but I'm so glad I could stop by. How far did you swim to get here? Oh, show us on the map. Well, I swam all the way from there to here. Yes. Yes. Your flippers must be really tired. I'm used to it. Leatherback sea turtles travel farther in the ocean than any other sea turtles. The trick is to find a really fast current. A fast current? Ah, tell us more. A current is like a river in the ocean that's always moving. I swam in one to get here, and today I'm looking for a really fast one. But what's the big hurry? I have to get back to the beach where I was born so I can lay my eggs there. Hold on. I made something for you. This is a friend finder. 
I'll put this on your back. And look! There you are! The friend finder helps me find you on the map to see where you're going. Tweak, you're a genius. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you like it. Can someone point me in the right direction? Let's see. If you're going back to the beach where you were born, you should head that way. Gotta go, Octonauts. Thanks for the friend finder, Tweak. Bye bye. 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 Farewell. Look, there she goes. Hmm, <laughs> I wonder why she's going that way. That's not the way to the beach. Doesn't sound good. Captain Barnacles, you'd better come down to the engine room. So, what's the problem, Tweak? The octopod sounds like she needs an emergency cleanup and repair cap. If we don't get working on it right away, she'll fall apart. Octonauts, we need all hands on deck. The octopod needs cleaning and repairing. Yeah. Cleaning? Captain, do you really need me to come back for just a little cleaning? Yow! What's making that scurvy noise? The octopod, Quasi. We need everyone to help get a ship shape again. Over and out. Aye, aye, Captain. Yow! <laughs> what was that? A wandering whirlpool? Sorry. Huh? Uh, didn't mean to cause you any trouble. You almost sunk me gut. Um, matey, did you know you're floating upside down? I am? Oh, dear. One minute I'm swimming with my friend and the next I'm lost and I can't find her anywhere. I I'd better flip back over. Hold on a minute. Let me just... Whoa! Shiver me whiskers! Oops. Oh, sorry. Very sorry. Oh, I'm so confused. Something's wrong with my sonar. Sonar? Sonar is my way of working out where things are. When I'm looking for something, I send out sound waves to help me find it. I'll just be on my way now. Must find my friend. We always swim together. Uh, I don't know where she is. That's one big mixed up whale. We'll have to get started on repairs to the octopod without Quasi. Tweak. Well, the arms need to be welded, the screws need to be tightened, the floors need to be vacuumed, the dents need to be banged out, the windows need to be cleaned, and the water tanks need to be flushed. And the joints need oiling. So, Octonauts, let's do this. Two are so loud that the sea snails can't get any sleep. Eh? Sorry. You see, you're too loud. No, you're too loud. I am not too loud. Yes, you are. It's oh, too Captain. Too loud. You're too Maybe loud. these two would be better apart. They are two separate creatures, but they need each other for food and protection. Symbiosis, remember? Aye, but maybe they really just need a break from each other. A, a break, break from, from each, each other. other. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> I'd be fine without you. Um, no, I'll be fine without you. Uh, uh, oh, I'm free! <laughs> no, I'm free. Ha! Yeah, hear that? Quiet. It's sleepy time for snails. Thank you for your help, Octonaut. 
Enjoy your sleep, little sea snail. Are you both all right on your own? Ah, uh, well, uh, I could use a lift to the other side of the reef. You know, a fresh start and all that. Captain, I'll give him a lift. <laughs> Good luck. I don't need a thing. I I'm just fine on my own. Oi, you, get off my rock. Oh, yeah? Talk to my pointy friend about that, buddy. Uh-oh. Ah! Ah, that's more like it. Are you sure you're okay? Yes, I'm fine. I'm, uh... Well, no. When I had that spiky urchin on my shell, I, I looked scary. Nobody messed with me. I suppose I don't look scary anymore. I'll help you learn how to stand up for yourself. Really? This looks like a nice rock for you, me hearty. Nah, too crowded. There wouldn't be enough food for me. Okay, uh, what about that one? You kidding me? Too small. There won't be enough food for me there either. Let's keep moving. Yes, let's keep moving. You just need to make yourself look big and strong. Rah! Now you try it. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, nearly. You know, when I travel with the crab, he always shared his food. And what about you? You got any snacks for me? Uh, no. Unbelievable! No snacks? Well, what are you gonna do about that? You said you're gonna help me, so what's your plan, buddy? Huh. I don't have a plan. Turn right! There's nowhere to turn. We've got to stop the ship. Now. <gasps> Ten seconds till we hit the ice wall. <laughs> a fast, you mutinous, scurvy octopod! Stop! Six seconds till we hit the wall. Five. Hold on! <laughs> Three, two, oh. one. It's okay. We've stopped. I know, but you're standing on my foot. Oh, sorry. Phew, that was close, mateys. Now what, Captain? If we can't go forward, then we go back the way we came. Ow! Captain, look out! We're trapped. Dashi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the HQ. Captain, are we in trouble? Well, Peso, we're trapped here in the freezing cold waters of the Arctic Ocean, surrounded on all sides by ice, with no clear way to escape. So that's a yes, then. Ah, you know, these ice walls are often quite thin. It might be possible to break through one of them. Aye, let me out there in the gut B, Captain. I'll smash that ice to smithereens. Or I could eat a drill to the gut D and... Uh-oh. I was afraid this might happen. What might happen, Tweak? We've stopped moving. And it's so cold that ice is clogging the engines, shutting them down. Cutting off all power to the octopod. Ah, no good. The ice is too thick. If only I could find a place where the ice is thin. What's that noise? Captain, look over there. Something's breaking through the ice wall. <gasps> a blast! It is the legendary deep sea unicorn. Ha, that's no unicorn. It's a narwhal. 
A narwhal. A narwhal. Fascinating. It's a very special type of whale with a spiral tusk growing from its head. They only live here in the Arctic. <gasps> uh, we may have a problem catching up to them. When flying fish want to make a getaway, they leap out of the water. Oh! And look, they're gliding away. We'll never catch them now. Ow! Oof! Out! There's one that didn't get away. <gasps> Must get away! It's no use. I can't make it. Are you okay? No, I'm doomed. I'm a flying fish who can't fly. Oh, please don't eat me. Don't worry. We don't want to eat you. Ow! Oh, me tail fin! I smacked it on some rocks and now it really hurts! We know someone who can help you with your fin. Why don't you come back to the octopod with us? Uh, but Captain, what about the Professor's book? Hi, we've got to find those flying fish again. Agreed, but first, our new friend needs help. We'll let them know back at the octopod. Quasi, sound the octo alert! Octonauts, to the launch bay! Hey, so we've brought back a flying fish who needs your help. Aye, Captain. I help any creature who is sick or hurt. Now, what seems to be the trouble? It's me tail fin. You need a bandage. Good as new. Oh, it feels better already. You should stay here and rest a bit before you take off again. Okay. Thank you. Captain, the flying fish will be able to fly again in no time. Ooh, flying fish. That must be the remarkable thing that my great-grandfather saw. I'll add that to his book right away. You tell him. No, you tell him. <sighs> uh, well, Professor, we sort of lost the book. <gasps> You lost it? But... but how? A school of flying fish came leaping out of the water. And before you could say Davy Jones's locker, they took off with your book. Oh, dear. I see. It's gone. But we'll get it back for you. On my honour as an octonaut, we will. But how? Those flying fish got away from us before, but now we know how to catch up to them. We just have to leap out of the water and fly like they do. But, Captain... How in the seven seas are we going to do that? Tweak? I'm on it, Cap. I'll get a little advice from our new friend on how to make the guppy fly. Here, Shellington. <gasps> Give it a whirl. Um, but, uh, well, no, I, I've never been the best driver. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 Oh no! Look! They're going to hit the octopod! Oh! Oh! Shiver! Whiskers! Don't worry! <laughs> With the smart gut remote control, the dubs are totally crash proof! They stop by themselves before they crash into anything! Oh. <laughs> oh! Hey! <laughs> Woohoo! Yay! Yay! Tweak, what's going on? Uh, I don't know. Without the remote, I can't control the gups. Five runaway gups. 
Sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the octopod. Octonauts, we need to catch these runaway gups. The gups went that way, towards that underwater canyon. Tweak, how soon can you have the remote fixed? Faster and you can say, uh, six to eight weeks. I have to order some new parts, so it's going to be a while. Hmm. Then we'll just have to swim out there and round up the gups ourselves. Swim? Even I can't swim that fast. Tweak, are there any other vehicles that we could use? Well, there is one. The Gup F. The Gup F? but before I could grab it, I got slimed! Who goes there? We may not be able to see, but we can still smell you and hear you, dagnabbit! Uh-oh. It looks like this is slime eel territory. Get off our property or I'll slime you again. Sorry, Quasi. We've got to go. Why? But what about the spyglass? Just leave it, Quasi. Two! No! It was me grandfather's, and it should be mine! But Quasi... Three! Okay, boys, let him have it. <gasps> Give me two seconds, and I promise I'll be. And then we ran in and Quasi was covered all over with this disgusting slime. Fascinating. A single slime eel can produce a bucket of slime in no time at all. Tell me about it. That's the slime eel's way of protecting itself and its home, especially since it can't see. There certainly were a lot of slime eels protecting that spyglass. Not to mention spiky sea urchins and tangly seaweed. Sorry, Quasi. It's probably too dangerous to go back. What would a slime eel want with a spyglass anyway? <sighs> I'm going to bed. Calico Jack. Spyglass. It's mine. 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 The spyglass is mine! <sighs> Quasi. This time, I'm not leaving without that spyglass. Um. Dreaded monster of the deep known as the Nakawak. The, the Naka what? The Nakawak. He's as big as three whales set end to end. Each tooth is the size of a dolphin. And he's crafty. Knocks over ships just for the fun of he does. 
Ah, oh, come on, Quasi. You don't really believe all that, do you? Don't I? I bet that Nakawak comes back for a sneak attack. And if he does, I'll be waiting for him. Well, it's a mystery, all right. And one we need to investigate. Professor Inkling, are you there? Yes, Captain. How can I help you? Dashi took a picture of the tail of a mysterious animal, but none of us has a clue what it might be. It's the Nakawak, I tell you. The Nakawak. She's sending you the photo right now. Oh, most intriguing. Let me take a look through my books and see what I can find out. Thanks, Professor. Barnacle's out. Hello, Professor. Would you like to join us for a little game of table tennis? Uh, oh, I'd love to play, but I'm too busy searching for a monster. A monster? Where? Well, Quasi thinks it's a monster, but it's probably just a creature we've never seen before. Do you need any help? Certainly! Why don't you go through this book and look for deep-sea creatures with very long tails, while I go through this one? And I'll keep an eye out for any monsters! Look! Over there! No, just another anglerfish. We're going to have to go deeper. Hi! Right into that Nakawak's lair! Inkling, have you found anything yet? Not yet, Captain. It's getting hard to hear you. Inkling? Captain? Oh, the radio doesn't work when they're down that deep. me, but the monster you're looking for, is it long? Yes, extremely long. And does it have shiny silver skin? I think so, yes. Does it have red spikes on its head? Red spikes? Whatever made you think of red spikes? No! Oh! Ah! <laughs> Don't get too relaxed. Hi! What's this? A new guy? That's the one who took my medical bag. Come in, Shellington. We've got an angry walrus heading right for us. Jumping jellyfish. It's a walrus challenge. He wants to see who's bigger and tougher. If we want him to tell us where the bag is, we'll have to challenge him back. We could be bigger and tougher than he is. Hop on me shoulders, Captain. Oh. Bigger. Are you okay, Peso? Um, I'm okay. Okay, okay. You're bigger than I thought. Where is the medical bag? M medical bag? It's white and uh, it opens up and inside... Oh, you mean uh, the funny white clam that I found? I gave it to the chief to try and cheer him up. Which one is the chief? The chief is probably the biggest walrus with the biggest tusks. Aha! Bring him on! Careful! Quasi, try to get back into position! Huh? I can't get back in position while you're sitting on my. Intruders! Oh! Run! Captain, come in! What's going on? Have you located the chief yet? Shellington, this really isn't a good time! Take them to the chief. At least we get to meet the chief. What are you doing in our colony? Speak. Uh, please, we didn't mean to bother you. We're just looking for Peso's bag. You mean, that strange white clam? That's it. My medical bag. Your medical bag? I'm the Chief Walrus. It's mine. We don't want any trouble, Chief. But that bag belongs to my friend Peso. You think you can just waddle into my colony and tell me what to do? <clears throat> oh no. His flipper. Stop! You shouldn't be walking around on a hurt flipper. If 
it's not bandaged right now, it will only get worse and worse until... <laughs> oh, my flipper really does hurt. Might as well start at the top. Oh, there's all kinds of fish up here. That's because we're in the sunlight zone. The ocean is like a cake with three layers. Sunlight zone, twilight zone, midnight zone. The sunlight zone is the top layer. Aye, it's where most sea creatures live. This doesn't look like home. And I don't see any other sea stars. Hmm, there might be some on that coral reef. Let's take a closer look. Huh? Ahoy! There be one! Wow, that's a lot of arms. Um, excuse me. Have you seen a sea star that looks like Twinkle here? Well, that depends. Which one of you is Twinkle? Now, if it's you... No, no. I'm a penguin. Well, that's a relief, because you'd make one silly-looking sea star. Me, me, I'm the sea star. Of course you are. Who said you weren't? Now, I'm a sunflower star myself, and... It... I'm sorry, what was the question again? Ah, have you seen a sea star that looks like Twinkle? Well, why didn't you say so? Now, let's see. Yes, I'm sure I've seen some stars that look like her. If only I could remember where. Hmm, maybe it was over there. Or, or was it there? Oh, oh, wait, wait, I know. It was... Ah! A porcupine puffer. Puffers eat sea stars. Peso, quick, hide Twinkle. <gasps> <laughs> Nothing here but my hat. Phew. <laughs> Are you okay? Yes, but now I really want to go home. Time to search in deeper water. Gosh, it's getting dark out there. That's because we're getting further from the sunlight down into the twilight zone. It's too dark for plants to grow, but there are still plenty of animals. Including sea stars. A vast, mateys. There's a mess of them right there. Excuse me. I see you're all sea stars. Nah, we're called brittle stars. What's it to you? We're just trying to help our friend Twinkle here find her way home. But we don't know where that is, matey. Have you seen any sea stars who look like her? Mm, I don't know. She looks a little like my cousin, Shirley. No way. She's got much shorter arms. <sighs> Belugas, follow me! It's Fish Biscuit Feast time! Yeah! Yes, it's working! Whiskers. Those little fishies think this is food for them. Go away. Go on. Go. Go. Leave it alone. Belugas, follow me. It's dinner time. Too many scary noises have to stay by the hole where it's safe. Why aren't they following me? Belugas, like all whales, are scared of loud, strange noises. So, the sound of the gup sea cracking the ice and the sound of, well, quasi, probably scared them. How can we show them that this path to open water is safe? Professor Inkling, any ideas? I know exactly what sounds will make the belugas follow you. An old whale song recording. They'll hear their own sounds and follow right along. It's working! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, my. We're losing them again. We've got to do something, Captain. The path is already starting to freeze over. 
That noise they make, that sounded a little bit like... Peso's music. Peso, we need you and your xylophone out here right away. Captain, are you sure this is the best time for music? This is exactly the time for music. Your music. Captain, I'm ready to play. All right, Peso. It's showtime. It's working. Peso's xylophone playing sounds just like the Beluga song. You have to stay close to the hole where it's safe. But those sounds are so nice. the nice sounds down the path, we won't be stuck here anymore. It's one of Shellington's garden eels. We must be really close. There's another one. There. <laughs> Fascinating. The garden eels are even faster than you are, Quasi. Shellington, are you all right? Well, my leg keeps falling asleep, but I think I'll be okay. Come on, we've got to get back to the octopod. Put this on and let's go. Quasi, Peso, how's it going out there? Well, we found Shellington and we followed some garden eels up this cliff. But then we lost... Was he? Gotcha! Mayday, Captain! My tail's tangled in tentacles! Help! Quasi! Come in, Quasi! Mm. Oh! <sighs> I never should have let Shellington stay out to study those garden eels. Ah, garden eels! That's it! If I can't get through the jellyfish, I'll go under them, just like the garden eels. Professor Inkling, does anything live in the rocky cliff beneath the octopod? Interesting question. As far as I know, nothing lives down there. So I wouldn't be harming any creatures if I made a tunnel through it. Not at all. There's only solid rock there. But what about your paw? Don't worry about me, Professor. Hey, Cap. Prepare the Gup-D. I'm gonna need some extra tunneling power. You got it, Cap. Just hold on. <laughs> A garden eel living in a rocky cliff? It can't be! That's no garden eel, that's... Captain, Captain Barnacles! <laughs> ah, good to see you again, Shellington. Come on. We've got to hurry back to the octopod before this tunnel starts to fill up with jellyfish. Tweak, close the octa hatch. Tickles. The jelly not only uses its comb to swim, Peso, but also to handle food. Its little tails are tickling you. Luckily, you're too big to be eaten. There. Feel better. Better, better. Huh? My medical bag. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> Over 
are here, Captain. Uh, Quasi, help! Yow! Peso, what are you doing inside that thing? Peso, inside! Inside Jelly's belly! Let him go, you bulbous beast! Wait! Don't hurt him! I'm all right. Mostly. Quasi, how did Peso get in there? Never mind that, Captain. How are we going to get him out? It may be a bit tricky. As you can see, the comb jelly is see-through. But he has several clear layers of skin surrounding a clear stomach full of water. And Peso. Go, go! No! No, go, go! No! Peso, we're trying to work out how to get you free. Stop playing around. But I'm not. Jelly, please stop. Drop! <laughs> Quasi, Dashy, get the guppe. Shellington, let's go after him. Whoa! I got it! I got it! Oh! Oh, he got it all right. Dashy, get me close. Closer. Yow! I've got you! I've got you! Jelly, stop! That's my friend! Quasi cat! Catfish! No, not a catfish. He's a... Oh, never mind. Quasi, are you OK? Just give me whiskers a moment to stop shivering. I've got him, Captain. Oh, no! They're being swept away by that current of fast water. This is getting serious. Let's sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the gups. Octonauts, Peso is stuck inside a comb jelly, and the comb jelly is stuck inside a fast-moving current. Oh, my! Oh, no! <gasps> Peso, can you hear me? Peso! It's no good, Captain. I'm just getting static. Tweak, you stand by. We may need your help. Got it, Cap. And we'll follow that current. Chronicles to Shellington. We've lost track of the sardines. Is there anything that could help us find them again? Yes, Captain. I believe we can find the sardines by listening for their burping sound. Sardines burp? Actually, yes. Sardines and many other fish swallow air to help them stay afloat. But when they want to sink lower, they burp the air out again. Captain, you should be able to pick up the burping sound on the Gup's underwater microphone. Now, just listen and be very quiet. I don't suppose the sardines are taking a nap? No, that's just an elephant seal snoring. What's that, Shillington? That's just a crab clicking its claws. Ah, burping. Dashy, can you tell us where it's coming from? I'm on it, Captain. Straight ahead, near a coral reef. Then that's where we're heading. Barnacle's out. Dina, we may have found your school. That's good news. Best be on your way, Dina. But I don't want to leave you here, Quasi. I'll be fine. On with my school, remember? And you need to be with yours. Go on now. Thanks, Quasi, for all your help. Anytime. Stay safe out there. Just follow me, Dina. <laughs> the burping is getting louder. We must be getting close. <laughs> Don't tell me seahorses burp too, Shellington. Uh, actually, lots of fish do, Captain. We must have picked up seahorse burps instead of sardine burps. What if my school is so far away we never find them? Captain, the burps you hear now are coming from somewhere above you. This could be your school, Dina. Let's go. You must be very close now. My school! I can feel them with the scales on my skin. There they are! Whoops! Almost forgot to say thank you! And please thank Quasi for me. Don't mention it, Dina. Helping sea creatures is what we do. Bye, Dina! 
I'll let Quasi know you're all right. Here you go, Quas. You're free. Come in, Quasi. We found Dina's school, and she's safe and sound. I'm sorry. I should have listened to you, Peso. At least you're all right. That's what matters. I'll stay in the octopod. Tell me those is all better. Then let's all head back to the octopod. And please stay close to the gup. Hope you've been comfortable in the launch bay, Lammy. Yes, thanks. And my nose is feeling much better. That's great news. I think today we can remove your bandages. And I can go home. Right, Peso? That's right. I'm going to miss you, Lenny. Oh, me too. Maybe you can visit the lagoon sometime and meet my friends. Shellington to Peso. Come in, Peso. Peso here, Shellington. There's a hurt sea star inside an underwater cave. We need your help right away. Yeah. I'll be right there. I'll have the guppy ready in a jiffy. I'll wait to go home till you get back, Peso. I'd like you to come with me and meet my friends. I'll be back as soon as I help this sea star. Over here, Peso! Good as new. Watch out for that hot steam! There must be lava under these rocks! Shellington! I'm trapped! Octopod, please come in! It's Shellington! Barnacle's here. What's up, Shellington? Peso is trapped in this cave! Please send help! Help is on the way, Shellington. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You got it, Cap. <gasps> What's going on? Is Peso in trouble? Aye, matey. But don't you worry. We're off to rescue him now. <laughs> Peso helped save me. Now I've got to help save him. <laughs> My lemon shark nose is working again. My nose knows where to go. Uh-oh, Quasi. This isn't just a cave. It's a cave with hot lava under the rocks. Ouch! That means this cave could fill up with hot bubbles and steam any second. We've got to get Peso and the hurt starfish out of there now. Aha! Another piece of coral. Ah, just a sea sponge. Oh! Spiky sea urchin! <sighs> Sorry, little urchin. These coral pieces are harder to find than I thought. What was that? Hmm. <laughs> huh? Hmm. Someone's playing a trick on me. Huh? Shiver me whiskers! <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face. <laughs> Dolphins, what's the big idea? Playing tricks on me while I'm... Oh, we were just playing around. What are you doing here anyway? Want to play with us? We're blowing bubble rings. Yeah, I'm too busy to play right now. Well, suit yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny. There's a pirate here trying to work. Thank you, Dashi. Have a look at this one, Shellington. Ah, this one looks very healthy. I'll put it with the other red ones. Ah! Jumping jellyfish. <laughs> Tag, you're it. <laughs> oh, my. There you go, Peso. Thanks, Tweak. Steady. 
Steady. What you do? Lappity flippers. Cool. You want to play catch? That's one of our favorite games. Here, catch. Whoa, careful with that. Sorry, dolphins, but we've got work to do. Maybe some other time. Oh, there's got to be someone who wants to play with us. Come on. We've been working for hours and we still have so much more to do. At the speed we're going, it could take days to finish. And these dolphins aren't making things any easier. Barnacles to Shellington. These dolphins won't leave us alone. Why are they acting like this? It's normal dolphin behavior, Captain. Dolphins are curious creatures. They... Ooh, what's this? They love to play with each other. And make up new games. Hmm, it's impossible to see where we're going now. Captain, look! Ahoy there, mateys. I can clean this windscreen in no time. Thank you. Thanks, me hearty. No problem. Algae is my favourite snack. Well, matey, it's lucky for us that you like this scurvy muck. Ah, you sound like a pirate. Ah, yeah, I am a pirate. I've always wanted to meet a real live pirate. My name's Parrotfish Pete. Uh, a parrotfish named Pete. Me grandfather Calico Jack had a parrot named Pete. Uh, Calico Jack, the famous pirate, was your grandfather. Uh, so you've heard of him? I, I'm a big fan of pirates. What be your name? I be Quasi. I could be your sidekick. Quasi and his trusty sidekick, Pete the Parrotfish. Doesn't that sound great? Well, pirates usually have parrots as sidekicks, not parrotfish. Well, I've got a beak like a parrot, but I'm even better than a parrot. Look, I can change me colours. Wow. Yeah, parrots can't do that. That's true. Uh, and parrots won't clean the algae off your windscreen either. That certainly was a big help. All right then, but we're in a hurry to find some treasure, matey, so you'll have to keep up. Whoa, my first day is a trusty pirate sidekick, <laughs> and I get to search for treasure. <laughs> Let's go, parrotfish Pete. What do you think these pointy things are? I wish I knew. I'll swim ahead and find out for you, mateys. Ahoy, mateys! Arr! This reef be full of sharp, jagged edges and narrow passageways. I think your ship is too big to fit through it. But according to the map, we have to go through it to find the treasure. Then we'll leave the gup here and swim the rest of the way. I wonder what these squiggly lines are. Are we going in there? What's that? And that! And that! Now we know what those squiggly lines on the map are. Eels! Aye! Moray eels! These waters are full of them, matey! Hi. OK, now that rock looks just like an ordinary rock. And ordinary rocks don't sneak around. And so, to prove to myself that there's nothing to be afraid of, I'll just sit right down on this ordinary old rock and... Ah! Flappity flippers! What is it, me hearty? Stop that rock! Huh? <gasps> oh, that's no rock! It's the monster of Creepy Cove. And it has the captain's octo-compass. <gasps> Quasi, Peso, what happened? We saw the monster 
First, it looked like a rock. And then it made itself huge. And then it turned green and disappeared. Aye, and it's got your octocompass. Deshi to Captain Barnacles. The octocompass is moving into a small cave on the other side of the kelp. Thanks, Dashi. Octonauts, let's get to that cave. Ready. Yow! Ah, I reckon the monster wants to trap us inside this cave, Captain. Hmm. Well, I don't see any monsters, but I do see my octocompass. The m, m monster Give me whiskers! Another monster! That's given! What? The real one! Don't worry, we won't hurt you. So you're the monster of Creepy Cove? No, I'm not a monster, I'm just a cuttlefish. A cuttlefish? Then how do you explain the fact that you changed your size and your shape and your colour? Mm, that's what we cuttlefish do, to protect ourselves so other animals can't hurt us. I can make myself disappear. Mm. Whoa! See, I look just like a rock. Oh. Or I can make myself look bigger. Amazing. Or I can shoot out ink and make it look like you're seeing another cuttlefish while I swim away. That's incredible. Hi, matey. We didn't mean to frighten you, Mr. Cuttlefish. We've only been chasing you because you have something that belongs to me. You mean this? Yes, that's my octocompass. Here, please take it. I was just playing with it. I like how it changes its look. Just like me. <laughs> You're right. Okay, Cap. You must be really excited to see Sandy. I sure am, Peso. Sandy the sea turtle is one of my best friends, and I don't get to see her very often. Sandy always swims through these waters this time of year. Then it's lucky that we're passing by. Sandy should be just on the other side of this canyon. I just hope we get there in time to see her. We'll be there faster than you can say, muncher, buncher. Uh, how does it go? Buncher, munchy, crunchy. Oh. What was that? Captain, the octopod is losing electrical power. I can't control the ship. Let's switch to steering wheel. Huh? <gasps> Quasi, peso, totem pole. Hi, Captain. Okay. Sure thing. Hey, okay, Captain. Shiver me whiskers. That was a close one, Captain. It's not over yet. The electricity's out, and we're right on the edge of a deep canyon. And we're already late for meeting up with Sandy. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Uh, sorry, Cap. No electricity, no octo alert. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Tunip. Sound the octo alert, vegimal style. That's more like it. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, the octopod has crashed. It seems to have lost all electrical power. I think I found the problem, Cap. See that? 
Red means that the octopod's battery is out of electricity. And without electricity, the octopod won't work. Don't worry, Tweak. I'm just worried that by the time it's fixed, it'll be too late to meet up with Sandy. <laughs>